I was very interested in the vertical dimension of an exhibition. And Stefan's practice, of course, includes this dimension, but how to translate it in the exhibition space? Uh, that was um, my initial question. Psychovertikál je cesta v severnej stene Kežmarského štítu vo Vysokých Tatrách. Pre mňa tento názov obsahuje rozmer, ktorý sledujem vo svojej tvorbe a to je prepojenie fyzického vertikálneho sveta a toho mentálneho objavovanie nejakých rovín nových prostredníctvom fyzického spoznávania, fyzickej aktivity. Ale je tam absolútne priame prepojenie na tú mentálnu rovinu, spoznávanie svojich limitov z e, svojho okolia. A to isté sa vlastne premieta aj myslím, do tvorby, takže to zastrešuje širšie pole mojej práce, ktoré som sa doteraz venoval a čom stále pracujem. It was important to uh, consider his work as a practice, as an expanded practice, not uh, only including sculpture, but using sculpture. I was very interested in how he actually uses the sculpture. And he uses the sculpture in three ways. So he produces objects, obviously. Some of them speak a clearly abstract, minimal language, and others are unmistakably figurative. Uh, secondly, he performs a practice, which is climbing, which is a radical um, a performance in a sense of uh, a radical physical and mental effort. And thirdly, he exhibits these objects in uh, his sculptures in conditions which are very, very far from a classical exhibition space. I also wanted to uh, consider his practice of climbing as part of his work because um, I felt that it was divided, that he is uh, considered a sculptor who somehow in his free time climb climbs. But I think uh, those two practices are intimately connected and have to be uh, considered uh, together in dialogue, let's say, because uh, we entered into something different, a different field. Like, for example, we could say it is a performative sculpture, but I'm not very much into labeling work. So, but I think this practice is extremely important and also this um, gesture of exhibiting uh, sculptures to natural elements in a way, because of course there are no spectators in the mountains. So he exhibits them to the extreme climate somehow, to the void, um, which is very interesting as, as, as a gesture of sculpture. And um, I was also very interested in how he uses the language of climbing in his work, uh, because uh, it is a sign language, uh, to some extent, and these are also scores or notations for climbers. 
Um, so he manages to integrate this language in his sculptural work. So this language, the sign language of climbing, this scores or notations, they become objects. And it is language um, actually, so we could say that um, some of his sculptures, they speak uh, a specific language. He can understand and uh, people who know the language of climbing can understand, but not every spectator <laughs> can understand, so they have to be somehow translated. I think it's quite fascinating how he uses um, mountains, let's say inaccessible spaces in the mountains as his exhibition space. Uh, because he really brings his sculptures uh, up to uh, quite high places in the mountains, definitely not accessible to people who cannot climb, and he exhibits them there. Uh, and uh, it is a very interesting question uh, to whom he exhibits it. So for me, of course, uh, an important thing is that he exhibits it to some sort of extreme climatic conditions or to the void, because very few spectators can go up there. And this is where I think it is a very interesting connection to Ghanek Gallery, um, to the fictional institution created by Julius Scholar, um, he also imagined a kind of exhibition space very high in the mountains where nobody had access except his imagination. ceste psychovertikál a prilazenie človek ako lezie a postupne tie dĺžky za sebou tak objavuje niečo nové, tak myslím, že je to aj pri tom lezení a pri tej soche veľmi niečo podobné, že skrátka ten nový rozmer tam prichádza.